Welcome to New Release Review, part of the Movie Friends podcast. My name is Seth. Today we're talking about Madam Web from 2024, directed by S.J. Clarkson. We will be talking about spoilers throughout this entire episode, so if you haven't seen Madam Web and you want to, turn this off, go watch the movie, and then come back and listen. My guest tonight is a good friend, great friend of the show, longtime supporter, and just all around movie friend, Cosmo. Cosmo, how are you? I am great. You know, I've been webbed, so I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, as I was sitting there looking at Dakota Johnson in the face, I was like, I'm in your web. Like, I'm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you got me. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my God. So I've said before on new episodes, like, oh, this is an emergency episode. This is truly, like, truly. this is the most emergency episode we've ever done. And it's currently 1216 in the AM. I just got back from the theater. Cosmo, you saw it a little earlier tonight. So you've had a little bit more time to process. But, yes, um, I have. Just yes. off the bat. Just, I guess, some general feelings about the movie from you? Honestly, it's funny. I saw it at 4.15 today. Okay. And right afterwards, I went to go visit my grandparents. And as I was there, I felt like I was keeping a dirty secret from them. Like, I felt <laughs> like I feel like I had been involved in something shady. Oh so my that's, God. that's how I feel. I still, I still have Madam Web all over me. Like, I yeah, just, yeah, yeah. you know, um, I'm flabbergasted by what I saw. I feel like, you know, I just don't know if that was a movie. Honestly, that's where I'm at. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, all right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Be forewarned before you see this movie. <laughs> don't plan on visiting. Um, your grandparents or a priest or a therapist. Yeah, immediately absolutely. After, you'll be carrying some things into that conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I saw it and I picked like the seat all the way in the back. Mm, okay. I saw it in screen X, which okay. I, I me I've mentioned previously the only time I've ever seen something in Screen X was the second Venom movie. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> what Screen X... Are you familiar with the, the concept of Screen X? Y yes. Yes. So, I've seen those theaters. I've never been there, but yeah. Well, I did not do it on purpose for Venom, okay. and I <laughs> certainly did not want to do it for this. <laughs> so Screen X, if you haven't seen it, it's when they have projectors that project onto the sides of the theater. Um, Not for every scene, but like for the action scenes, it's like total 360. Well, not quite 360, but everywhere you look, the scene is all around you. Um, it's incredibly distracting. <laughs> um, yeah. Like they actually tell you when they show you a preview of it, they're like, you have to focus on the center screen. And I'm like, well, why are you doing this then? <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. What? So for some of the scene, the editing in this movie, I don't want to say like it made me physically ill because I feel like that's so dramatic, but genuinely and, I felt like disoriented. And then yes. having that in it too. Wow. 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 It was wild. But anyway, I can't I even imagine that. I can't imagine your experience. <laughs> yeah. It was <laughs> just fully immersed in her world. <laughs> So I picked this seat all the way in the back because I was like, all right, I'm going to be taking notes. I don't want to be bothering uh -huh. anybody. And when I purchased my ticket, there were only like two other people in the theater. <laughs> By the time I sit down, there's like six people surrounding oh. me, like just on oh, every tough. side, like everywhere. And I'm like, oh, my God, please. Like I need <laughs> my Madam Web, like alone note time. And <laughs> and yeah, the, the vibe was not good in the theater <laughs> i was laughing out loud at some things mm -hmm. um i don't think people enjoyed it 
No, no. I was I was not in the far back, but I was right in the middle and I was kind of close to the front. And when I got my tickets, I w- I w- it was the only me and my husband that were that were going to be in there. But then when we got there, the whole row in front of us was full of teenagers, uh. I believe. And uh. one of them, the entire movie, he was listening to SoundCloud and he was liking Instagram pictures the entire time. Holy so, moly. Yeah, I don't think he liked that, like the movie at all. And it was other people in the theater too, but I mean, it was like dead silent in there. Like nobody was vibing with mm. the movie at all. Mm. I laughed a couple of times just at the absurdity of what was happening. Yeah, but people were people were not into it. <laughs> not yeah. at all. What What did your <laughs> husband think? He couldn't believe what he was seeing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I know in the past I, you've said he's not like the, as big of a movie person as you are. So was this yeah. like? Uh, did you ruin your one good chance? I know. I mean, I think about that. But he's seen it. I show him enough good movies that when he sees movies like this, he knows that this is not the norm. I like okay. it. This is not this is not always what's gonna happen. Just sometimes <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's not always gonna be like this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But he, he kept hitting me. He kept hitting me every time something stupid happened. And I was like, Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, it's man. not good. I, I was really having like <laughs> physical response like i kept throwing my yes. arms up yeah I'm, I'm not yes. sitting by anybody but i'm just like throwing my arms up like what what, what? I know. Like, how is this now i will say right off the bat in case you're listening to this and you are fuming in your seat you're <sighs> twisting and turning you're ready to pull over you're angry i think i think that i enjoyed uh-huh. this more than the majority of people that i've seen uh... see it I think that this movie is a bit of a disaster. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, but it didn't like personally offend me. I, like I, I, uh, I see it as just so benign. Like when right. all of the spider women are together and it's like, <laughs> you know, oh, I see you standing up for what you believe in. <laughs> yeah. And like, and they're just all wearing their thing. Okay. At no point was I like, this is going to happen. Like, there's going to be a sequel. Yeah, I was like, exactly. I'm here for Dakota Johnson, one time out, ridiculous movie. This doesn't mean anything. It uh-huh. doesn't matter. Absolutely. Who cares? So Absolutely. I think it didn't, it didn't affect me. Like, I'm not angry. I didn't leave. I didn't leave angry. I, I just left, like, shaking my head like, dude. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, I definitely didn't feel angry. I think I'm feeling the same way. You did. I just. I didn't have a good time, but right. I'm also. I'm also like, what was I expecting? I don't know who Madame Web is. That's another right. thing to any of the comic book people out there. I'm sorry. I don't know who that is. So I, I, right. I, right. I didn't. I didn't have high hopes for more to come. So I'm just like, this is just a movie. <laughs> the the only reason that I know who Madame Web is, is because this movie has been talked about being uh, made for forever. And right. So I was like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah. All right. And apparently Madam Webb is like very, very, very powerful. And like she does have like like when we saw like final form Madam Webb <laughs> <laughs> no. like in the end, you know? Like yeah. she's like a Pokemon evolution throughout this movie. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then like her like in her apartment, just in her wheelchair with like honestly, the most disgusting sunglasses i've ever seen like Works. i'm a fan of interesting eyewear yeah those sunglasses we know. that she's wearing while they're eating chinese food was like uh, the worst the worst, the worst. I, I, and I, it's not even a throwback to 2003 because in no. 2003 everyone was wearing the bug glasses yes exactly the huge round ones exactly wowie zowie zowie so yeah anyway i want to i have a few questions Yes. We're definitely not going through this entire movie. Um, <laughs> it's too long. Like, it's too it's long. It's way too long. It's I don't way... know why it's two hours long. At one point, she's walking through the jungle oh. for what feels like 10 minutes. <laughs> not talking. <laughs> and she just happens to come to, like, the exact place where the photo was taken. Yes. Like, it's like yes. when people on Instagram are like, Hey, look! Here's the here's the exact scene from the movie. We found the location, and they exactly. Hold it up. She's mm-hmm. doing that, but in the jungle. <laughs> yes. 
Who developed these photos? I, well, okay. Yes. <laughs> There's so many questions. <laughs> so, yeah, she's walking forever. And then when we get uh -huh. the flashback, it just shows us the beginning of the movie again. Again, yeah. And I, I didn't say out loud, but like as loud in my mind as I could. I was like, we've seen this. What yes. What are we doing? But so we're definitely not getting through this whole movie. I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. When the spider people came down from the trees. <laughs> oh, buddy. What did you like? What did you, how did you feel about that whole, the spider people, you know? Thing? Um, and, and okay, and this may reveal my Spider Man ignorance, but sure. I was first. My first thought was, why do they all like Spider Man? Because yeah. I, I've seen the Spider Man Raimi movies, and like Spider Man makes his outfit, like he makes yes. the thing. Yeah, but they're they're dressed in the same way, just in like a more primal jungle way. Yeah, they're they're red with the black lines on them. So I'm yeah. like, how how? So this is just a universal thing that <laughs> if you're a spider person, you gotta dress like this. This makes right. no sense. Yeah. And then when then the way it's cut and so disoriented, I'm just like, am I supposed to be impressed? Because I can't even tell what they're doing. Are they going real fast? Are they running? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I was just, I I was just like. Uh okay, I guess yeah. these are the the spider people. Great, yeah. Yeah. that's it. <laughs> it was so funny when they were like, "Oh, he's crawling around like a spider," and I was like, yeah. "No, he's crawling around like a monkey." Like I, if I, that... yeah, <laughs> if I was getting attacked by that guy, I'd be like, "Oh, that's the monkey that's guy's it. coming." <laughs> <laughs> You're coming down from the trees. I'm not. My first thought is never going to be spider. I'm just no. not thinking that unless I've seen Spider Man. That's the only right. way. Like but, you already have to know about that. But I've seen Spider Man, and the the it's reason still... we call him Spider Man isn't because mm. he crawls on all fours. It's because he has a web. He has webs. There's no yeah. web in Madam Web. <laughs> she should have been called Madam Broken Glass. I was just about to say that. Yes. <laughs> Because we get a lot of that. We, we get, get a lot, a lot of, of that. Yeah, Madam Splinter. Yeah, every time glass broke in front of her face, I couldn't help but saying web. Like I just felt like that's the, <laughs> that's the web. <laughs> they, they wanted us to understand this is how it's a web because right. the glass breaks. There you right. go. <laughs> right. It's like, hey, doesn't this look like? And yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I didn't care for the spider people. And not at all. What's? Did you ever watch Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt? Yes. Yes. So. Uh, Titus uh -huh. goes out for the Spider-Man thing, which was a parody. Yes. You know, they're making fun of the Spider-Man Into the Dark Broadway show, which was cursed. But right. Titus, <laughs> Titus's Spider-Man thing is like, there's 20 Spider-Man men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he sings that song that's like, and I will crush that Spider-Man <laughs> and then the other Spider-Man until I am the Spider-Man and Go back then it was funny, but yes. now it's okay. so much funnier because yes. it seems like they are addicted to like we have to have as many Spider Men as possible in, in every yeah. movie. In in this one, there are four Yes Hero Spider Men. Right. Yeah. There's bad Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barefoot Spider Man. Yeah. Which I'm, that's my next question for you. And then there's the jungle Spider Man. Right. Man, right. Tribe. Like the whole tribe. Like yeah. Whole it's like a religion. People. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's like, why does there have to be like Batman is Batman? Exactly. We know when he starts, we know when he ends, and that's it. Oh, I guess there is the Bat family. See, I said it and then I was wrong <laughs> yeah. immediately. Yeah. But it's. Yeah, like, they got you. They got but, you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like I don't understand this like sh just shoving every and then everything has to connect like okay did you have an Emma Roberts jump scare yes oh my god I was like what I didn't I didn't had no idea she was in this movie no idea no idea mm -mm. I wrote in my notes is that Julia Roberts niece yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not Julia Roberts niece <laughs> That's how I know her. That's how I know. Yeah. That's who she is, right? Yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. 
Holy mo But it's like, okay. So I, I guess the script originally was that Madam Web has to protect Peter Parker's mom because the oh. dude is trying to kill her so that um. Peter Parker is never born. And then oh. that kind of got like pushed to the side. So that became like B plot. Hmm. But like okay. not really. And I don't know if it's because they couldn't show dream sequences of Spider Man killing him. Oh, yeah, maybe. They like, <laughs> they're not allowed to do that. <laughs> yeah, I Yeah, I don't know. Maybe um what's his name? Zendaya's boyfriend. Yeah. Um Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Yeah. Maybe Tom Holland was like, Yeah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm not I, coming in for I, this. I, I don't know, but but it's like everything has to connect, and we have to be like, okay, we get it. Okay, yes. we get it. Where I felt like just her figuring out her powers, I actually was kind of into that. Right, right, yeah. I'm always into a, you know, I mean, I guess an origin story, but where the person just gets hit with their powers and like has no like background. Yeah. Yeah. Like don't doesn't know anything about anything, doesn't have fighting skills, but they just have a yeah. power. Like that's cool to see somebody navigate that and and progressively get better at it. But yeah. all the extra stuff just muddies the waters. <laughs> it's just yeah. too much. Like um, I I really enjoyed the part um, with Mike Epps, who <laughs> I, I'm like I'm glad I'm glad you're here because you're getting paid, but like. How are you, you like? Did you recognize him as Mike Epps in any way, shape, or form? Like, I mean, when I saw him, I was like, "Oh, I was, I was like, that's Mike Epps." But then I was like, <laughs> "Why, why Mike Epps?" Because you're not letting him do any Mike Epps type no. things. He's he's just a a regular guy grilling burgers incorrectly, yeah. I guess. Like, that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's not really doing anything. Yeah. I, uh, and yeah, then and they like, kill him. <laughs> does being Madam Web mean that you're just like super unfun at parties? Because they kept oh showing the God. burgers flare. And I was like, <laughs> she's getting a premonition. Oh, something's going to happen. Yeah. No, nothing's mm-hmm. going to happen. No, she's just nothing. It turns out she's just mad about squeezing the juices out. <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's enhanced by her powers. Like, uh, anyway, I don't well, know. I, I did. She- I liked that when she was like. You know, seeing the same thing, figuring it out, and then like mm-hmm. when she, when she lifts the, I, I I was glad that pretty early on, she lifts the window and the dove survives, so that it wasn't like an hour of no, I don't know, I don't know, oh, oh I'm afraid yeah. of my powers, oh I'm, yeah, I hate that stuff. Like me, me too, me too, dude. If I can fly, I'm flying. I don't care. Immediately, I'm not gonna be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I have yeah. super strength, I'm gonna be like, yes, I will save those children in that building. <laughs> like. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not sitting on my superpower. Like we're no. we're going out and we're testing this thing. Yes. As exactly. soon as I got a feeling. Yeah. yeah. The whole like the whole journey of like believing in yourself that everyone has to come. It's like, yeah, if I could lift a bus, I would immediately believe in myself. What are you talking about? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like if I saw Absolutely. some dude like a super villain, I'd be like, oh, well, I'll go get him. I'll go punch him in yeah, the face. Yeah, I can yeah. do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'll break his neck right now. <laughs> exactly. All right, so my second question for you is just this this villain, um, uh, Ezekiel Sims. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about, tell me how you feel about him. And I don't want to forget to ask this the whole barefoot thing. <laughs> yeah. Um,. I I just really hated every second of it. I'm sorry. I hate to say I hated it, but I was first of all, the way he talked, every every line he was that was delivered by him was awful. Like it was awful, it was laughable, and it did not I did not fear that man at all. He just seemed like a buffoon. <laughs> a buffoon scared of three teenage girls. <laughs> I'm just yeah, like, get yeah. your life together. Get yeah. it together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and like, who is he? I, I get maybe I I'm sure I like miss stuff because I was really just I couldn't believe it. Take, it took me so long to process each thing I saw. So I'm sure yeah. I miss things. But like, who is this guy? Why does he have that lady in his house that's like looking <laughs> at computer screens? How does he have money? Like right. what? Like. He has a nice Corvette and like the no shoes, like <laughs> nothing makes sense. 
Yeah, I he kept he kept saying what I've built, what I've built, what I've and, built. Uh-huh. Yes. What yes. did he build? Exactly. Yes. Don't we don't know. see him as like you know, like Norman Osborne. Well, we know who that yeah. is. Exactly. We know yes. what's on the line. We know his resources. Yes. The only thing we see about this guy is that he has an apartment. <laughs> like that's it. Like that's it, that's right? It. A really nice apartment, I will say. It's, you know, it's cool. sure, it's nice, <laughs> but it's like, you know, no job, no company, <laughs> no henchmen, no yes. resource. He has a car. <laughs> yeah. <I'm- laughs> He doesn't even have access to that NSA stuff until, which, okay, so during that scene when he's talking with the lady that he picks up at the opera, Uh I was like, he's really just, like, telling her everything. Like, this is crazy. I was like, is this a one-night stand? Because he's just straight up like, I'm going to get murdered by three teenage girls. (laughs) I would have been out of the door, like, as soon as he was like, I had a dream. But it's not a dream. I'd be like, oh. (laughs) No, when they're... When they're at the opera or the show, or whatever, and he picks up the bill and yeah. then gestures to give it to her and it snatches it back. Like, that was the most, like, offensive thing to me. I was like, I, why yes. would he do that? Yes. I'm not going home with a guy that thinks that's funny. Like, right. I'm sorry. No, I agree. I, I was like, and that's why I was really confused about their whole relationship. I was like, wait, does he exactly. know her? Is this his wife? Right. Right. That's what is I was this, thinking. Who is like, are they? And then I was like, oh, maybe this is like a meeting. Like, you know, she's going to give him a package right. or, he, you know, codes or. And it, it turned out it was that. But he was just that was his version of being like smooth, which I guess worked. <laughs> Send I us an email. Yeah. Friends podcast at Gmail dot com is snatching away <laughs> a playbill in the opera. Is that going to get you with that person please let us know (laughs) um yeah he i i think i can see a world where like they're doing a parallel between madam webb's powers and this girl in the chair who's got like because she can see everything right 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 and so like madam webb can see everything and like this is through technology and madam webb's is through spider okay. bites yeah so like i could i was like i see the pieces here but then yes. like this girl isn't even evil no like, she i don't even know yeah was she just a computer programmer like That's that what, he yeah. was like hey come work for me yeah she seems like a lucius fox type just like right. you know i'm i'm not here with your evil like with what you're doing but right. you know i like computers and i'm here to <laughs> I'm here to do that stuff. Yeah, she says something like, it's intoxicating. Yeah, right. But I don't right. like it. It's like, yeah, okay. exactly. But then she's got the keyboard. She had the keyboard with like the toggle, like the joystick on it too. Yes. And I was like, wow, yeah. you're so she's hardcore. a professional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then, but yeah, like I, I hate everything. And like I've seen people comment that all of his yeah. lines are ADR. Yes. And mm. I was like, nah, that can't be true. And then 70% of the way through the movie, I was like, oh my God, like, did they really ADR all of this dude's lines? Like, like it's coming half a second after he's talking. Literally. And like, it it happens literally right in the beginning with the Amazon section. And they show him in the background. Like, usually if you do ADR, you want to like not show the people's mouths if it's yeah. not going to match up. Yeah. But it literally shows him in the background, not moving his lips at all. And then you hear him speaking. And I'm yes. just like, ADR out the gate? You're going to do this to yes. me right now? Yes. Like, I can't. It's, yes. it's really baffling. Something must have went horribly wrong. <laughs> like, agree, horribly wrong. <laughs> Tons of rewrites. Like, yes, s- something absolutely. where they were like, oh, we need to fix what we have because we don't have the budget to redo what right. we're doing. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. The shoes off thing. <laughs> like, Ooh. I'm sorry. Like, okay, so you don't live in New York City. Yeah. But you live near a city. Absolutely. Are you ever in your life, if your husband's life depended on it, are you walking down a train barefoot? Oh, no. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here, I will say this. 
and maybe this is too much, but I'm gonna tell the truth. Yeah. I I'm a barefoot person. And sure. I will and and I I mean in my city I would be barefoot, but not too far from my home. You get what I'm saying? Like I might be on the I'll be on the porch barefoot or something. Maybe okay. maybe on the sidewalk right in front of my house. Maybe. Okay. But the but the train station, that's too far. No, that's what I'm saying. No, no, no. I yeah. think that that's what you're talking about is at least semi normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna say completely. <laughs> but he is just straight up and they make a point of showing it like multiple yes. times. And I kept waiting yes. for it to come back. Yeah. Or mean I like the, something. something. Yeah. Like that's the only way he can grip onto I don't like I don't know. Like that. There I was thinking the same thing, like maybe this is how his power works through his feet. But right, like, like like he he's like, Oh, I need to be connected to the earth. A- exactly. At all times. Something like that. Yeah. Just like the spy or or like, you know, being connected to the earth enhances my power. Nope. Dude just no. <laughs> is barefoot. Yeah. Just a thing. And like walking down city streets. Like just the streets. Like <laughs> That's the street. Oh, like, he's n- crazy. Without even socks. No. Like, what is that? What is that? Like I've never I've never seen anything I've never seen anything like that. I can't think of anything other than they were trying to give a shout out to the feet people. You know, everybody <laughs> got to eat. Everybody has to eat. <laughs> it's true because there are, I, th- I don't think there are any other feet in this entire movie. No, I yeah. don't think so. Wow. Okay. Just his. <laughs> so Dakota Johnson as Cassandra Cassie Webb slash Madam Webb. <laughs> How did you feel? How did you feel about her? I uh, all I could think while I was watching it was like apathy. Like I just keep kept seeing the word apathy in my head. I was just like, I think I mean her character seems to hate everything about life. Yeah, yeah. But it also seemed seemed like Dakota hated everything about yeah. being in this movie. I she did not like she was having a good time. Even her in her scenes with Adam Scott, which I thought Adam was really good, but like she's not giving him anything like she she yeah. hates him too i'm just like uh you know she looked i don't know i can't even say that they really didn't do much for her look either but yeah yeah at one it point it looked like she had the 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 daughter from hotel transylvania bangs yeah that came it down in the like middle that. i was like are they yeah. doing that like are they it was like a half in attempt almost yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, I. There were a few things that she said that really made me laugh out loud. Yes, um, at the baby shower, when she has the the empty slip, and she's like, "Oh, my mother died in childbirth." Yeah, no, that like, part was Ugh. funny. And then she just keeps going into it. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, that's okay." Like, yeah, I definitely, I definitely laughed out loud at that. Yeah, I thought um, that was funny. When she tries to climb the wall, I thought that that was really funny. Um, yeah, and then just kind of like moves on from it. So uh, I was like, "Is this just dry humor? Like, is this just like extremely dry and like no well, one is getting it? Getting it? Me? Maybe, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's when it's like dry humor. It was it's awkwardly paced. I don't know. It just felt like it it hung too long sometimes. Like that scene you're talking about with, at the baby shower, that was funny and the slide was funny. I think part because it just came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. But but like all these other jokes, it's just like every somebody says them and they're just looking at you. And I'm just like, I, I can't, I, am yeah. I supposed to laugh now? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> it was very weird. I've never <sighs> seen, and I know her powers aren't supposed to be physical at all, right? And that's fine. I, I'm actually into that idea. I love when I love when superheroes are matched with villains um, and like their opposites. It's not just like, right. hey, you have the same powers as me. That's so boring. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. But like I've never seen someone who's supposed to be the hero in a movie absolutely refuse to run. <laughs> That is true. I didn't even think about that. Like every yeah. scene that's like, okay, Cassie gets out of a car and has to go to a building in yes. a hurry, in an emergency. Dakota Johnson is doing like a trot at most. At most. Yes. There's no <laughs> so look of determination on her face. She's just 
<laughs> if I saw this no. woman, I would be like, she just got off work. She's going to the <laughs> yeah, house. She's, that's she's just having a day. Yeah. Yes, exactly. No, I. That's that is exactly it. Because I was thinking when I was watching it, I was like, there's no sense of urgency here. Like nobody's like they're they're saying that they're worried and like they're they're gonna die, but nobody's acting like that's mm-hmm. a thing that's really about to happen. And that yeah. this guy is like really behind you. Like you need to like move. And that's that's exactly why they're not. She's not running. Maybe she's just too cool to run. You know, she got that cool jacket. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and like the girls, you know, they believe they see the Spider Man <laughs> killing all the cops, and like they're running. They're they yeah. get to the woods, and she's like, "I'll be back in three hours." <laughs> she doesn't yeah. say. Which, first of all, it's like how. Like you're going to do research. How long do you know? How long do you think it's going to take? Whatever. Okay, fine. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'll be back in three hours, and they can't wait. <laughs> like they can't wait. Like it's like Jesus no. and the disciples. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you go back and they're like dead asleep, and it's like really yes. like okay, just, sure, okay, just whatever. stay awake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like I'll be back in three hours, and they're like we're starving to death. We need to go to this diner. And not yes. only do we need to go to this diner, but we need to dance on the table. How did you feel about that? Yeah. Um, I was perturbed. I was upset. You know, I was like, you know, because here's my thing. As a, as a former teenage girl, I know how hungry you can get, especially mm-hmm. when there's three of you together. Yeah. It gets even worse. Somehow it <laughs> amplifies. <laughs> so I understand. Three hours is too long. But just go and eat. Who cares about a table of boys who look scrawny and weird anyway to me? But well, okay. I'm an older person. That <laughs> like, that I one kid, the one kid who was looking, wasn't yes. he? Didn't he have a stare of like? Yes, he scared me. I know exactly <laughs> who you're talking about. <laughs> my my eyes started at the right, and I was like going yes. around the table. And when I got to yes. him on the left, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Yes, I no. It wasn't a flirty was like, look. No, and I was like, oh, finally, we're gonna get the bad guy's henchman. Like maybe mm. he has a, a a team of like teenage boys because that boy was staring with such menace. Yeah, I was like, oh, he's he's got to he's got to know something. Yeah, but no, he's just a weirdo. Like yeah. what what in the world? Yeah, and then dance on the table to toxic. Like they've never heard. You know, I don't know. I just, yeah. Uh, it was not good. I did appreciate the toxic, you know, the Britney Spears toxic of it all. Oh, um, I love toxic. I get what yeah. they're doing because, like, he's toxic. Yes, of course. I guess. Like, he can release poison <laughs> if he wants. Um, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. He's so ill-defined. Like, like literally from the get-go. I'm sorry. Like, from the beginning, when he, when he kills... Madam Webb's mom. Yeah. I just don't, I don't even understand. I still don't understand what's going on. He just says like a little short line of like, my, nobody helped me when my family starved. Right. And I'm like, what are you talking about? What does that have to do with a spider? Right. And, and then, he, and then he shoots her. I'm just like, oh, uh, I don't know what your motivations are. Like, I'm not sure what you're after, why right. you need this spider or anything. Right. And then we just, it just keeps becoming more and more confusing. <laughs> right. Yeah, like, okay, so he obviously believes in the myth of the spider people. Obviously, yes. He hasn't, he's looked for years. I guess, does this spider bite give you long life? Because he looks almost identical <laughs> he does 30 look, years yeah. later. Yeah, he just has some gray hairs. Wouldn't he, he be good. a 60 year old man? Yeah, right, like, right. And so he hasn't been able to find it. Are the spider people protecting the spiders are they hard har- um mm. are they hoarding them are like right w- i don't know because they sh- i mean they show up like half a second too late you know he yes. got the gun out and they were like oh no <laughs> our spidey senses didn't tingle fast enough like exactly as fast as they are and is that editing was trying to tell me? I right. mean, you can barely see him. Right. I don't know how they couldn't get there before the gun went off, but right. you know, whatever. Yeah, and, and it then is what it is. Also, like, I guess, I guess, this spider bite. <laughs> 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 the 
this world of spider bites is has opened <laughs> like spider-man gets bitten by a modified spider we right get that. right it's a once mm-hmm. in a lifetime thing exactly but these spiders bite you and i guess the powers are random but not yeah. random because spider-man <laughs> Where, what's the country what's the country Peru? Peru. Okay, yeah, so Spider-Man Peru. Peru, when she comes back, <laughs> he's like, you have all these powers. How does he know? She was a baby. <laughs> I know. Like, how is the, is she category A and you know these? Like, are there five of them? Like, anyway. I don't know. And he, he got poison powers. Yeah, exactly. Like, I wouldn't don't you know. be pissed off if, like... <laughs> <laughs> You you were like, yeah, bite me. And then you're like, oh, no, I can just poison people. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the worst. I know. It doesn't make sense either because, I mean, from the get-go, when they save, I mean, well, they didn't save the mother, which also confused me because I thought the, the spider biting her was going to do something yeah. to her, but it yeah. just saved the baby. It gave the baby powers. Yeah. And the spider Peru guy was like, She's gonna have to come back. She's gonna come back looking for answers. So I guess maybe he can see into the future. I don't know. Maybe he, she got bit by the future seeing spider. Cause that. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Maybe you can like pick and choose what type right, which spider right, right. does what. I don't right. know. Red means this and. Yeah, because, exactly. Well, cause the this guy who didn't even have a name, like he didn't like the bad no. guy, did, like um, so whatever we're calling him, but like. He could also see the future, but it seemed like he couldn't yeah. control it either because it was only dreams. But then when she goes right. back to the scene of the diner crime, they're overlapping, but he's not surprised that this is happening. Right. Dude, right. this movie is bad. Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> wowie, yeah. Zowie. Wowie. He, he, does, he does act at some point like, how is she? How are they doing this? Like, how are? How do they know? Yes, I'm he keeps going saying to that. Be there. Yeah, yeah, he keeps saying that. So I'm like, do you not? You have visions as well. I don't like. Do you not know? <laughs> but I guess because you did. <laughs> right, right. I don't know. Right, like a person who is literally like living a magical life is like, how could magic <laughs> yeah. be happening? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, good. And then, that was another thing. Like, okay, in all of the Marvel movies, you know, we we oh, wow. we establish that there are heroes and aliens, and then new people get powers, and so uh-huh. they start referencing things. Like when people, when someone gets a superpower in like Phase Four of a Marvel movie, they're not like, uh-huh. "What are superpowers?" But in this one, this exactly. is two thousand three. There are no superheroes. Yeah, uh-huh. and the three girls are just immediately like. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they are. Like, oh, okay, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and they accept it real easy. I mean, I got to talk about these girls because it's almost, they're not, they're like non-characters because they they all just say their backstories. Yes. <laughs> we don't get any, like, real look into their lives. They just tell us. This is what my life is like. And we're just yeah. supposed to be like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> I, I can't recall a time when like so much dialogue has been exposition. <laughs> I know. And you yes. still feel like you go nowhere. <laughs> like you said. they Absolutely. When you said they're non-characters. Totally. Like totally. totally. <laughs> but like. It's and it, it really it just re- gets they get reduced down to like I'm sassy. Well, I'm shy. Exactly. And I'm yeah. smart. Oh my god, it's so bad. Don't no, please. It's so bad. It's embarrassing. <laughs> like, sorry. like you you saying this is giving me secondhand embarrassment because that's scary for me. Like, this is not girl boss girl power time because. Mm. <laughs> We can't just be reduced to one word, to one adjective. Right, right. <laughs> but it, oh, it totally. I mean, like when, when Cassie, not Cassie, um, the Sydney Sweeney one. <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever her name yeah. is. When when she when they yell when she yells at them in the back and she like slowly puts her glasses back on. <laughs> I was like, come okay. on, yeah. Well, 
And then when sassy girl <laughs> sees her skateboard broken. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we needed that. We needed the shot to confirm the skateboard has been broken. Yeah. But then and the she reacts scene, for like one second. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Final scene, she rides a piece of metal like a skateboard. Like a skateboard. And we go, where's the mother going? Yeah. Right, exactly. I was like, this is like Tony Hawk's pro skater. Oh, the hench. <laughs> like the unlocked yes. hidden level. <laughs> no, it was great. At the fireworks. It's, it felt like a video game. It really did. Yeah. Like that part particularly. Coming back to the Pepsi Cola factory. Like, yes. Oh, man. Dude, the amount of Pepsi in this movie. So much. Yeah. First, it was Mountain kind of Dew. And I was like, oh, yeah, Mountain Dew. Yes. And then as mm-hmm. Pepsi went on, I was like, that's right. Pepsi owns Mountain Dew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had the same thought. <laughs> yeah. And so it wasn't like, you know, you see movies with a lot of product placement. And this was mm-hmm. just Pepsi placement. So <laughs> much so. And correct me if I'm wrong, but mm-hmm. this guy gets killed by the big P in Pepsi, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, and his face is framed perfectly in the mess. <laughs> Pepsi took him down. <laughs> the real hero, the real hero of Madame Web turned out to be the Pepsi yes. P. Yes, shout I out to the I Pepsi I couldn't believe P. my eyes. Like I was like, there's no <laughs> way. There's no way. But there was a way. They really did There that. was. They did it. Yeah. Absolutely. How much money did yeah. they give them? Oh, man. Oh my goodness. Um, so kind of the last thing that I wanted to ask okay. you about <laughs> is the the CPR of it all. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Here's the thing about that. I've I've done a lot of CPR classes to get certified and all that stuff. And it can Without staying alive, playing in the background, it's a very weird affair. You yeah. know, it's very weird. And so them doing that with just nothing, there's no music or anything. It's just her watching them do it. And like, I guess in that moment, she's like proud of her girls or mm-hmm. something. But it's just like, this is the weirdest thing. Like, I like, are you trying to teach us also how to do CPR? Right. That's what it felt like. I, I I hope I get my certification, you know, from watching that movie. <laughs> you need to mail me my card, guys, right, please. <laughs> right. But it was really awkward. It was just weird. It was just weird. And I, I'm surprised none of them even knew anything about that. But, you know, maybe in 2003, that wasn't common knowledge. But... Right, right. Yeah. Um, Maddie. So I keep calling them by their not Maddie. names. Yes. Maddie says... Maybe my least favorite line in this movie. Yes. Which is really saying something. <laughs> my, first, what my first, the first line where I was like, I, it's insane, was when Madam Webb says, But I don't have a neurological disease. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, after she teaches them CPR, kind of, which I was like, you're a bad yeah, paramedic. Barely. You are not. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, my sister mm-hmm. was an EMT, and I oh. I need her to see this movie <laughs> so that she can, maybe maybe I'll do a live commentary with her. But anyway. Yes, that would be good. She says to her, I, I've never said this before in my life, but you're a pretty good teacher. Oh, what? Oh, it's so bad. It was so bad. It hung in the air yes. like a fart. Like, it was yeah. terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah, and, like, no one really acknowledges it. It's just like, okay. And I get it. It's like, she she was mad at her mom because she thought her mom was crazy for going to Peru by herself. Meanwhile, guess what? She goes to Peru by herself. That's what you did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And so, like, she heals by going into the past and realizing that her mom actually sacrificed herself for her. And so now she's ready to take on the responsibility of, like, I guess adopting three girls. That's what it seems like. Right? That's kind of where it ends, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They all live together. Even though the Sydney Sweeney one has parents, they just don't don't want her her. around? (laughs) Yeah. That... That was crazy when 
they're at the hospital and her dad's like, yeah, can you just like not come and see? <laughs> your your stepmom was in a terrible accident and we just don't want you in the yes. room for that. <laughs> like, yeah. Just the young boy here, not you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was like, okay, maybe just leave her at home. Yeah. <laughs> um, why is she there? Yeah. Like, yikes. But, um, uh, and then, yeah, she, she falls in the water again and they have to do the CPR thing. And what killed yeah. me was when they, they actually said, okay, I'm getting a little tired. And then the other was like, okay, I'll take over. And I was like, what? <laughs> that's not how you do it. Like what? What? <laughs> you get a little tired. You've been doing it for 30 seconds. Like what? Bam, exactly. Like put some. You guys are going to be superheroes, right? Like, let's, right. let's put some muscle into this. Right. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is there anything that we didn't talk about that you wanted to mention? Um, I mean, I do like, you. we already talked about her glasses and the jacket. And it, to me, those two things really stuck out because she seems like the type of person that does not care about what she wears. Yeah. And that jacket is like really nice and it's like a bold color. Yeah. And it's like a weird cut. Like it's a stylish cut and something that will make you stick out. Yeah. And I don't I don't I don't see her wearing that. Like she's definitely a hoodie type lady. Right. And then those right. gla those glasses are not of the time and they look stupid on her. Yeah. And they're just too they're they're just too too fashion forward like that's something that like i don't know like a supermodel wear today like that it right, just and right. then like lopsided on her face like she yeah. just looked and then it's, <laughs> yeah the fashion choices are just the, abysmal it was an odd like those I, I can't believe that i'm still thinking about these glasses but it was like <laughs> yeah. it was like the the glasses from the 80s i don't know how to describe it, it but like they came out and they almost had like what looked like wings on both sides and they extend right. your eyes up and out at an odd angle. Yeah. And yeah. And they didn't survive for long because they're horrendous looking. <laughs> Super ugly. And just like, but just like why? Oh man. I don't know, man. I don't know. If, like, if I were to go to Johnson and they put those on my mm -hmm. face, I'd be like, no, no. Any like, other Yeah, Like can't find me. You can't find me some regular Ray-Bans. Like just put something that's, like putting goggles on me i don't right, care like right. don't put that on me. or just like you know her look in the comics just put a cloth around my eyes yeah I, okay. I, exactly this is a superhero movie like that that's way better yeah. yeah i don't know why she has to be a fashionista in her chair like yeah. that that whole that whole chair stuff was absolutely driving me crazy it just it looked too comical no her, I, I agree her, it was i agree oh, yeah i think that that was a not the best choice like it was we're following her like for uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah <laughs> i i had something that really bothered me in the beginning of the movie and then it came back at the mm -hmm. very end and it just bothered me all over again which is mm -hmm. every time people eat chinese food in movies it's always out of those white boxes with like mm -hmm. the red lettering yeah. and stuff on the, uh -huh. where i'm from and everywhere I've ever gotten Chinese food, the only thing that comes in those is white rice. White Everything rice. Everything else is in plastic containers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for the, I mean, for the most part, yeah. I mean, unless you get like an extra small, and which no place does, you got to get a medium or a large, like, yeah. and that's gonna come in the plastic container. Yeah, I don't understand the obsession with that. Right, it's so. It's like <laughs> I've never seen someone eat Chinese food out of just a to-go container. Yeah. <laughs> and every time I see it, I'm like, bro, this, like, it dates you. Like, I feel like I'm watching something from, like, 1992. Yes. Like, what yes. is this obsession in the prop department yes. with Chinese food? <laughs> and also, no one is ever eating takeout that's not Chinese or pizza. And it's like, there's a whole yeah. world. There's a whole world out there. <laughs> no one no, no one ever eats a sub. No. Like, just no eat a sub. <laughs> And then in the diner, when Maddie's like, oh, by the way, everybody, I'm rich. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And the waitress brings the food out. And Maddie says to her, 
keep it coming or keep, something keep like that. Keep it coming. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I did say this out loud. I said, that's not how that works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you order food you, and they that, bring it. Yeah. I, I was like, <laughs> what are they... What are they trying to tell me about this girl that she doesn't know how diners work? Right, is exactly. like that is that what you're telling me? Because you can't say keep it coming. What are they going to keep coming? Like, well, right. They're just going <laughs> to. If, if oh, right, no. if someone comes into my restaurant and I put the food down in front of them and they say keep it coming, I would stop dead in my tracks and be like, <laughs> "Wait, so you want the same thing? Like, am I bringing a Over double? Again? What are you talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just keep them coming. Okay, yeah. got it. Okay, For sure. Whatever. Got you. Yeah. Psycho. <laughs> so the last thing that I want to talk about is just mm-hmm. the uh, the song at the end was so <laughs> offensive to me. I love <laughs> the cranberries and I love uh, the song Dreams. And uh, I've never not enjoyed hearing it. Uh, and but, here it just I was like, this is evil. Like <laughs> it was. Yeah. Yeah, I was definitely. I think that was the last straw because when that happened, I was like, "This is just silly." I just immediately got up and left. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even like let the whole thing play. I was just like, "This is it." Yeah, <laughs> they've gone too far. I don't what. <laughs> I can't even. No, talk it about really, that. it really <laughs> felt like you've gone to, and you know, I think um, you are a uh, enjoyer of sometimes. I'll say niche to underappreciated to um, just plain not appreciated movies yes. and music sometimes, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. If you're going to go back to 2003, why are we not doing like new metal throughout Madam Web? Please. Especially for, for Maddie's character. I mean, a skateboarder kind yeah. of person. She's not listening to corn. Are you right. are you like beer for real right now? Yeah. Some lip biscuit like that shit. Let's do that with this fun quirky movie. Right. Exactly. Not the cranberries. Not the cranberries. no no no. <laughs> like it really was like trying to, like you were saying about the fashion forward glasses and every like, it's trying to combine now and then and like just don't make it a period piece. like uh, you know don't do that yeah. yeah and don't throw in like a, a photoshopped in dangerously in love beyonce poster yeah like just one shot of that like don't do that yeah i don't think you need to do it no. you said already it's 2003 that was already too much like right. just just make this movie how did she drive through that billboard <laughs> in the ambulance anyway i know <laughs> Because the whole time, like, you think she's going to come and sideswipe him, but then she just comes through that underwear <laughs> billboard. Yeah. And I was like, wait, is there a road in that building? <laughs> <laughs> like, does she just drive down a hallway? Like, yeah, this New York has that. Yeah. <laughs> this... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't even Ooh. a set. Dakota Johnson can just do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's her power. Yeah. Um, you mentioned Adam Scott. I think I thought he was wasted in this movie. I just yeah. And and all of the references to Uncle Ben. Why won't he say? Oh my. Oh Aunt May, or like oh I met a woman. Yeah. Her name is May. Why won't we say yeah. Peter? Why are you doing so, this? I'm going to use a word, but this is what's happening. The engine is is yeah. insane. It's like insane. it's like why. You know, you know, we know, like, you know, and you know, that's right. why a lot of us are here. Just right. do it. Like, you think you're being coy? Like, you're, are you funny? Like, right. I don't get it. It's not, right. It's not funny. And it's yeah. not fan service. It's no. nothing. It's just it's like, nothing. <laughs> oh, is this like a fill in the blank? I, in my mind, I know he's right. Peter. So I right. have to say it like. Okay, sure. Like, what are you getting out yes. of this? Like, <laughs> I know <laughs> it's like Lucille Bluth in Arrested Development. Like, look at me right. getting off on being withholding. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I don't. I don't get it, man. Anyway, yeah. This movie, I think that I hate it more after talking about it. Honestly, <laughs> like, I really yeah. tried to give it a fair shot. I don't like. You know, if you listen to this show, 
you know, I don't like hating on movies and Me too. I certainly don't want to spend my time on something that I know I'm going to dislike. Me too. I, I did have more fun with this, I think, like I said, than most people. But in talking through it now with you, this movie is bad. It makes no yeah. sense. Structurally, it's bad. Tough. Stylistically, it's bad. The acting is bad. And I don't bad. think Dakota Johnson is a bad actress. No, um, no. None of these people are. like. Um, no, Lily's, I don't think so. Yeah, like Sydney Sweeney, I keep mentioning her by name because she's the only one that I'm familiar yeah. with by name. Yeah. Um, I think that she's good. Um, Dakota Johnson, you know, when she's crying with her mom, I, I was like, this is not good. This is yeah, supposed to be a big not. emotional moment, and I feel nothing. No, yeah, yeah. And I was coming in with a lot of good faith because I I liked Venom. I even liked Morbius. Like I, when right. I saw Morbius and I left it there, I was like, oh, that's not as bad as I. I was expecting this. This is what I was expecting when I saw Morbius. Right. And I didn't. And I was like, oh, everybody says these movies are bad, but every time I go see them, they're not that bad. And then I saw this, and it's like, well. It finally happened. Right, right. <laughs> it's it's true. Right. Yeah, and like I, I watched the Marvels last year, and everyone was like, this is the worst. I had a great time with it. I thought it was funny. I right. It was fun. No right. problems. No problems. And so I was, I had this hope. Same. I had this like, come on, Seth, you can do it. <laughs> you can find right. what this movie <laughs> actually is about, and you can yeah. have fun, and you know, you can maintain the contrarian label that people put on you. Nope. <laughs> Cannot. Couldn't do it. Will not. <laughs> this movie is real bad. Real bad. But we did it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. And 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 you have to, right? Like right. as a movie lover, you I don't know anyone that just says, you know, just hears it's bad and you just say, okay. I don't need to know. Right. Exactly. I would never just be like, I because people say something's bad, I'm not going to see it. I have to see it for myself. I just have to. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, this movie is a disaster. Um, <laughs> but this was a very fun conversation. Thank you very much for uh, joining me. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. So where can people find you online, Cosmo? Ooh, tough. You can find me at um <laughs> you can find me on Twitter or at, at um as Cosmo at my at is Oi Hey Yo. So it's <laughs> it's at O I H E Y O O. Yes. So good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Find her. Cosmo's one of the best people on twitter anyway thank you very much for listening uh we would love to hear what you think especially if you've seen madam webb send us an email moviefriendspodcast at gmail.com and uh that's it that's the end man and hopefully the end of madam webb oh please yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks man perfect all right thank you very much for listening have a good one Movie Friends is produced by Seth Vargas and Michelle Rubenstein. Music by Anthony Bacora. If you like the show, please subscribe and give us a rating. It really helps us find new friends. Thanks.